All right. Hey, we're good. All right. Good evening, everyone. Joe Carollo from Carollo's Corner at It's All About Scores.com. This is episode nine of the Mike Wilson Show. Mike, how are you tonight? Very good, Joe. Thank you. Fresh off of a huge win Friday, I want to say. I was there, and it was one of the better games I've seen this year anywhere. Uh, the, you, the, I'm gonna Before you get started, I'm going to say the resilience you guys had was great. It's the mark of a true playoff contender. Uh, the way you took the lead, and then you know you had a chance to crumble when they came back, and even with like what, two minutes left. You yes, know, you, two thirds left, yes. You 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 showed you, you showed them who was boss, and the resolve. I was impressed. You know the, the highly improved team meeting your potential. What do you um? Let's hear from your end of it. Well, again, I think the kids played a very good Friday night game under tremendous ad- adversity. Playing two games within five days, only have three days to prep for a team coming off. Basically, they had a uh, bye week to prepare for us. So I thought we 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 played very well under the circumstances. There's things we have to clean up that we focused on this week, but um, I'm very proud of their resiliency, uh, battling back against some adversity throughout the entire game, and we came up at the end. It was a great game. All right, awesome. Um, yeah, they, they were a good team. As I said, you know, they were battle-tested. It's one of those games that shame somebody had to lose, you know what I mean? But they, uh, you know, I was impressed with them. I think they could maybe make a little noise in group two. Uh, definitely impressed. They're very well-coached, well-coached. The kids play hard. Yeah, they um, did. Their utmost respect for that program. So, what do you think was your biggest, uh, your your great, your biggest thing Friday night? What were you impressed with most? Um, there was two things I was impressed most. Uh, offensively, we finally were able to show that we could throw the football effectively. And you, and you um, did. That was hell. Uh, as they saw, Mills came up huge. Uh, one of our senior transfers who was getting the loop of things. He had a fantastic game. Uh, I think the offense is improving week to week. Uh, we're moving the ball much better. Uh, we still have the scores of situations. We had a chance early in that game to, to really jump up on them, and yeah, we squandered right. a couple opportunities away. Um, and then defensively, I thought we played amazing. They are a very good run football team, and I think we held them to, I don't know, 40 yards on the ground altogether. Yeah. Um, so I, I think we did very well. I mean, we just got to – again, we're getting better every week. Um, offense is moving the ball, but you, you were there. We just missed a few opportunities early on to really um, jump ahead by a possession or more. You yeah, know, I was just going to ask you that. What, what what bothered you most about Friday night? We had an opportunity early in the game to yeah. give ourselves a comfortable lead. Um, we caused a turnover on a kickoff. We got yeah. the ball, I think, on the 17, and we failed to score. Yeah. Um, and then we had a bad snap of the field goal. That could have put us up by, up by 10, I think, at that point. Little things like that. Like, we played very well. The kids played 48 minutes of good football, but we have to learn how to close those games out. We had a shot to jump ahead by a lot. Right. Well, this is what I've been waiting to ask you all year. Uh, you know, you take it game by game. Let's just be honest. This one was circled at the beginning of the year coming up. Off to Glassboro. Well, Glassboro's off to see you guys, actually. Yeah. Now we can finally talk about it. It's Glassboro week. Uh, there's a group one school who's getting group four, group five attention. They're ranked, I think, eighth in all of South Jersey, which is impressive for anybody, especially group one school. Uh, tell us about this phenomena known as Glassboro 24. Well, I, I mean, again, it's a rematch of our sectional final game last year uh, where we lost 20 to nothing. Um, and I think our kids probably had this game circled right as season was over with. And we've had a fantastic week of practice. Practice. The kids are focused. Um, and, again, they're very good. They're very talented. They have legitimate playmakers at multiple positions. Um, it's going to take a total team effort Friday night on our part. But uh, we're looking forward towards a challenge. And Coach Breaker does a great job with those kids over there. Right. Um, I'm looking at some of the PowerPoints here. You guys are number six. Well, no, five, actually. They have you under Paulsboro, but you beat them head-to-head. Glassboro's number four. Uh, somebody's going to jump a little bit here. The thing that has me the most impressed is Haddon Township at number three. Uh, have, have you look, I know you don't normally do this. Have you looked at the, the PowerPoints? We're only two weeks away from the cutoff. you got to be at least peeking at it a little bit. Well, I know my coaches are, and again, it's all, we talked about this before. It's not like the old system where you could actually figure it out. Yeah, I mean, like this week, we won and we dropped. We were two, we dropped, what, you said five? So, like, all we can control is the game in front of us, and whatever, however they fall, they fall. Um, if we win games, we'll put ourselves in a position to have a good playoff run. Yeah, I agree. I, again, it's just so tough. I'm looking at, at it right now. You got a team like Pittman, five and one, but they're in nineteenth. They're not even in the playoffs yet. It's, <laughs> it's, it's again things you can't control. 
Um, yeah, I mean, again, I mean, they have the new PowerPoint system, the strength of schedule part, uh, uh, component of it. Um, so all we can control is that we have Blacksboro on Friday night. Right. So um, what do you need to do to beat these guys? I know you said a team effort, but I'll just get, get a little, little more detail. Well, I mean, a team effort, absolutely. And what I mean by that is we have to be able to play sound football in all three phases of the game, offense, defense, special teams. Uh, we have to take advantage of any opportunities that we get. We can't squander scoring absolutely. opportunities in, on their side of the 50. Um, we have to play great defense. We have to contain their playmakers. Um, they're going to make plays. They're, they're, they're way too talented. But we have to limit those big plays. Um, offensively, we have to move the ball, control the clock, and steal something in special teams if we can. Yeah, I mean, I, again, uh, I, I know I, I'll ask a, a seemingly dumb question. You guys do have a plan for this, obviously. Uh, yes. it's just about it's just about executing it, is what you're saying. Absolutely, I think. I mean, again, when you play any team of class wars uh, caliber, it's going to take effective coaching, playing sure. in all three phases of the game. And if we could play a full 48 minutes, get the game into the fourth quarter. And give ourselves a shot, we'll be okay. Yeah, like you said, uh, ball control. What so what do they need to do to beat you? If you're coach breaker, shoes on the other foot, as I like to say, what's he got to do to beat you guys? Well, I think what it comes down to for them is I mean, they just got playmakers everywhere. The sob the sad brothers, the quarterback's very good. They got Hamilton transfer, Kenny Smith, oh, who man, adds man. a an extra dimension to the offense that they did not have the year before. Um, again, I think he just they're gonna have to get the ball to their playmakers, and that would be my plan if I was him. Got you. So just a matter of like every week, who can impose whose will on each other? Yes. This will be a little different than last week. Um, anything else you're finding interesting right now going around South Jersey? You had a big upset. I don't know if about an upset. Uh, RV beating Washington Township 27 nothing. I don't know if I call that an upset, but 27 nothing was surprising to me. Oh, I think it was surprising to anybody. I mean, I know Coach Lucas does a great job at RV. I know Washington yeah. Township's doing a great job over there. And again, high school football is a week to week business like any other sport. You never know what's going to happen. Right. You got uh, Mainland Winslow Friday night. Big one. Another rematch. Yeah, another rematch. Uh, should be an interesting night at the Mustang Corral for sure. Oh, yes. Looking at anything and scrolling through here. We don't go into the Shore Conference much. You know anything about some of these Shore Conference teams, Brick Memorial or Shore Regional, I guess you would need to be looking at pretty soon. You played them last year. They are undefeated 6-0. and Do you know anything about what's going on with them? I mean, I know they have a new coach. Uh, coach Constantine stepped uh, retired last year. They have a new coach, and they're rolling right now. That's all I know. Right. Do you know? I mean, did they get a lot back from their team last year? It sounds sound, they got something there. I so think they graduated a decent amount of seniors, but I knew they had a good junior class, if I remember okay. correctly. All right. And the reason I'm saying that there, I mean, I'm going into you know a lot of different subjects here. Like I mentioned, Brick Memorial. It's going to have nothing to do with you. It's a big group four school. Uh, but Shore Regional is definitely going to have a lot to do with you and. And you played him last year, and he could very well have another rematch, as we're talking about. Absolutely. I'm looking down here, Middlesex, uh, New Egypt, Point Beach, possibly. It could be a first-round match. Uh, Manville, I don't know much about – you know anything about any of these schools? I do not, besides their names. Right. Yeah, I, <laughs> same here. I, I've never been – I've never been uh, – I've been to Point Borough. I don't think I've been to Point Beach Field yet. No, I've been to Borough once when I was coaching. I was assistant at Middle. We played up there. But – um. yeah. Um, no, I don't. I mean, again, like I think is we got to take it one week at a time. And our goal is always to have home playoff games. And hopefully one of those teams are traveling to us. Right. I think, I think this, you're going to get a lot of, uh, even with a loss, you can get a lot of, uh, strength credit playing. Oh, last yes. row. Not that I want to see you Lena. I, I got to look, you got to look at all the scenarios. Anything that happened, but you still have a game left. You have Woodbury next week, which we'll save for next week. So there's always, always a rebound, but a win here. will uh, it should jump you up several spots. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would, I would hope so. Yeah. And and again, I mean, you just could take it one week at a time, and it's a huge game. Um, it could be round one of, of two games this year. Uh, we're just going to so say like, that. Yeah, get to know I each mean, other well. But again, just one week at a time. That's all we really could do because, like we talked about before, if you can figure out the PowerPoint system, please let me know. Yeah, I don't. It's a little. I, I, I'm. I know some of it. I have a friend of mine that knows it much better than I do. You just have to uh, get with him one night for a few minutes and have him give me a refresher course. But anyway, that'll, uh, anything else you want to add on tonight? No, just th thank you again for coming out, supporting us and um, doing the show every week. I, I've no really problem. enjoyed it. No problem. We got, we're going to have a couple left, so let's make the best of this. And absolutely uh, going to possibly, like I said, be calling you for a round table. I like to get a couple of the coaches in one night separate from this. All right. Just let me know. And, uh, we'll
share some opinions. Anyway, guys, this is uh, Joe Carollo at Carollo's Corner signing off. Uh, you can see this again at itsallaboutscores.com. Mike, have a great night off to Glassboro, and uh, good luck Friday. All right. Thank you very much, Joe. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, have a great night. Bye-bye. You too.